live from the sewers, this is the Turtle Power Podcast. This is your audio source for all the news, reviews, and insight into the world of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now join your hosts, Brian, Alex, and Darby. Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Excellent! Now it's time for the Turtle Power Podcast. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another edition of the Turtle Power Podcast. A very special, we've been having a lot of very special episodes of the Turtle Power Podcast lately. But uh, yeah, we are here at the Nickelodeon Resort. Uh, well, I am here at the Nickelodeon Resort. This is Ryan, your host, of course. And uh, yeah, we are here for a very special event. We are here for the Guinness Book of World Records official attempt at the most people dressed as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And yeah, it's legit, people. We got a lot of turtle fans here, a lot of uh, 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 resort guests, uh, people have come in just for today, just to try to set this record here. Of course, the record currently being held up in um, Minneapolis at the uh, Mall of America, uh, over there at the uh, Nick Turtles uh, attraction that they have up there, actually. But but we're trying to bring it down here to sunny Orlando, Florida. And uh, I, I can tell you right now, uh, I, think, I think we're going to break it. I mean, we haven't quite started yet, but uh, there are a ton of people out here. Uh, it, so essentially, um, what uh, the requirements are is uh, you have to have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt on, whether it's the official one that they're handing out to people here, uh, which is a black uh, t-shirt with the Nick Turtles on the front, which says, uh, let's see, uh, uh, oh, we, <laughs> I'm reading it upside down. We are heroes. That's what heroes do. Uh, and the back, of course, has the official Guinness World Records logo, official attempt here at the Nickelodeon Suites Resort, August 9th, 2014. We've got, uh, uh, oh, and they're also handing out uh, uh, official right, Turtles headbands. Right here, oh, we got an announcement here. We're going to have some special guests joining us in just a little bit. But we need to make sure we have room for them to visit us. So if you guys could just keep back it up, and you guys can also move out to the sides as well. And uh, yeah, so you just heard it right there. We are setting up for the attempt right here. I actually have April O'Neil walking by right now. She's, uh, <laughs> so I think she's going to meet up with uh, four reptilian uh, dudes that we, we know very well. So we've got uh, a lot of people in the pool. So, so yeah, so let me describe the situation here. Uh, we are at the, the main lagoon pool here at the Nickelodeon Suites Resort. Uh, we've got uh, an absolute mob of people here. This is amazing. We, we, we've got to get the record. So everyone is being uh, asked to uh, make sure they have their shirt on, make sure they have uh, their mask on. We got uh, Everybody gets uh, one of the four turtle masks with the official Nickelodeon Suites Resort logo on the end, as well as the, uh, the Nick Turtles logo on the, uh, on the other end. And uh, yeah, this is, this is amazing. This is, this is really cool to see this much turtles love all in one place. So uh, here comes the tricky part now. So we got lots of kids, lots of families still here in the pool area. So uh, what they've had, just had to ask is that if, if for those people who are not wearing a uh, Ninja Turtles shirt, uh, that they are actually being asked to uh, 
the kindly leave the pool deck area. I mean, I, I get it. You got to have uh, you know, everyone in this one cordon off area to be, uh, you know, in the turtle shirt to uh, be counted for the uh, for the official count. So uh, they are making sure that everyone here is uh, present and accounted for and can count towards the official uh, record. So. Uh, that is uh, what's going on right now, and uh, we'll see uh, what happens here in a few minutes. All right, so we just got word that uh, the official audit and verification uh, has uh, has begun. Um, we've got uh, they did a really good job of, of uh, clearing everybody out that didn't want to be part of the count. Uh, everybody in the pool, everybody in the on the slides, everything. Uh, it's, it's a logistical nightmare, but I gotta say they handled it very well. Um, we are standing by. We're, there's actually a 10-minute verification that has to occur. So uh, there's a, we got a timer out here and everything. So uh, we are just standing by to uh, set the record. It looks like we might have it. So, uh, but again, it's got you gotta have that 10-minute period. So sounds weird when he says it. Sounds weird when you say it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have two minutes and 30 seconds left to find out if, in fact, we did break the record here in sunny Orlando, Florida, a hot sunny Orlando, Florida, but thankfully we're in the shade over here at the pool deck, and uh, it, I think it's looking pretty promising right now. Uh, again, there's just a ton of people out here. Uh, the turtles have now left the uh, pool area to go and meet with the official uh, Guinness Book of World Records um, representative uh, to uh, to get the the official count. So uh, we're standing by. We have one minute, 50 seconds left. Butt cannons? It has butt cannons? The countdown is on. And we are 
are just moments away from finding out our final count. And seeing if we broke that Guinness World Record here this morning. All right, everybody, I am over here on the far side of the pool deck here with our official adjudicator from the Guinness World Records. This is Michael, and he's about to tell us if we have broken that record here this morning. Michael, how do we do? Well, I'm sweating a lot. Let's see what I'm wearing. How is everyone? First off, thank you for staying. I know it's very warm out. Thank you for keeping your t-shirts and your masks on during the attempt. Did you have fun? Okay. So this was an official Guinness World Records title attempt for largest gathering of people dressed as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do you think you beat it? Yeah! Okay. The mark to beat was 836 people. Today, here in Orlando, at the Nickelodeon Resort, you had 1,300 We did it! We did it! Over 1,000 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm so excited to welcome you guys to the Guinness World Records family. All of you are officially amazing. Congratulations! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We have set a new Guinness Book of World Records for most people dressed as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in one place. Uh, I, I feel amazing. I feel the clamped. I, I don't know what to say. This is this is truly awesome. Uh, but I'm going to try to see if, uh, if we can talk to some people here. And, uh, yeah, this, 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 what a great day. What a great day. Please, please, uh, a moment to reflect. Uh, ah. <laughs> ah. All right, hey, so uh, yeah, we are here still at the uh, Nickelodeon Sweets Resort, and I've got a couple of uh, uh, special guests with me here, uh, a couple of big Turtles fans. I uh, guess you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Dakota. And uh, you guys were both here for uh, the retro weekend. Uh, that's where I got to meet you guys, and we didn't get a chance to record then, so... Uh, uh, here we are now! Here we are now, so... Uh, uh, Good yeah, deal. So we, we broke the record, we did it. Yes, we so did! This is your second time being a Guinness Book. Correct, sir! The first time was at Mall of America, what was that, two years ago? I think uh, so, And, uh, started. that was like 836, I believe, and we totally destroyed that one here. 13 with 1394. Yeah. That's 1394. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people, <laughs> lot. especially since it's a resort hotel. You can't just bring people in. Yeah. They have to be guests at the hotel. So uh, and now, and you were at the second attempt to break it. Yes, the both of us were at. The Actually, second. I was at oh, the second one, one too. Oh. I was. I've been uh, at the all the last three attempts, I suppose. That's so crazy. But. Now we were talking earlier. I, I think this is going to be a hard one to break. Like, very yes, much. So. Yes. Yes. I mean, they do have the uh, benefit of it being official. That is Nickelodeon. That we're in Orlando. But there's also. I mean, it's still possible to break it only sure. because, again, this was limited to guests. I can't believe that they they got that many guests it, in it, here. I, the only thing I was worried about is the fact that you, know, you have guests here in Orlando, and you have to convince them to stay here. For you know, to yeah. just, just and they come out, the come out of their room and stay in the, and pool stay in the pool area instead of going to the parks, instead of going to Disney, yeah. instead right. of going to Universal, yeah. Sea World. You know that. So that hey, they, yeah, they did it. They I think the only right. yeah, it's, I think the only way they'll beat it is if they do something at uh, like out in California. Yeah, and like at uh, they could do it at a Comic Con. Yeah, they or a Comic. Enough, yeah, yeah. You could just do it as enough people just sitting in line at Hall H, <laughs> just start handing out T-shirts for sure. To everybody and, and you break for it sure. Easy. Really, I think it's an impressive feat that they managed to get this many people here. When you consider Disney's efforts to try and keep everybody on property, yeah, you know, absolutely. I honestly was not expecting anywhere near this amount. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it was impressive. There's just a lot of people here, and and I guess it, yeah, if they want, if somebody wants to break it again, they're gonna have to use Nickelodeon. 
For sure. Yeah, for sure. It can't be unofficial. Yeah. I mean, like, it can't. It has to be affiliated with Nickelodeon yeah, in some way. They, I mean, they put the bill, essentially. I mean, we all got, the, well, almost all some of us got. Some of us got shirts. Really got cool shirt. shirts, by the way. Yeah, I, got, I, I got the shirt. Unfortunately, they ran out. Some by of the us time. got 30. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there were some unscrupulous people uh, trying to uh, get more than they should have gotten, but that also, not to fault the, the hotel in any, or the people working here, but that should have been... This a, is logi- a logistical nightmare. Exactly, really. I mean, exactly. They, they did a really good job of being able to, you know... Get Do everybody it. in because everybody had to have some turtle stuff on. It didn't yeah. have to be this shirt. It had to be a turtle shirt and the, like with a mask or whatever. But like, uh, just, and they actually had to have people leave the area, which... Yeah, I was like, oh, that's a, you that's can a tell. PR nightmare right For there. sure. They, they did it, and they, it sounds like they did it pretty smoothly. And well, they, they broke out. the record. I think that's that that's a, a testament to how well it did go. Yeah, Guys, they actually had to raid the gift shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, if you come to the, to the Nick Hotel, they have no more shirts <laughs> in the store. They had to start using the... The stuff that they sell. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, so what? Now, we, I mean, we're just gonna talk turtles here. So, okay. Uh, Dakota, you, you just brought up something. This is pretty cool. So, uh, you found this. Where'd you find this? Uh, honestly, I was just uh, searching around on eBay and came across it by accident. But uh, it sounds like you can you're able to find these uh, at your local PetSmart or other pet store. Uh, Nickelodeon series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles aquarium items. And these are actually really cool, detailed figures. Like, we're showing a picture right now of a crane. And uh, it's very detailed. It's got a base with the, the TCRI logo on it. you know if it's Playmates who did it? I'm not sure if Playmates did these or not. It almost, when I looked at the thing, it almost looked like it was an aquarium company that's uh, producing okay. these uh, the license. They're very detailed. And like we were saying, like, even if you don't own an aquarium, you could just get one of these just for sure just, yeah i mean they're they're really well done yeah get yeah. a terra- even a terrarium just get <laughs> just get a terrarium that's it that's what you do you get your terrarium with yep. your turtles and then you bring in the crane that's and right the and the exactly oh, and of course, photo uh instagram <laughs> opportunities <laughs> abound here Absolutely. to make things even better the bases actually have an uh, hexagon pattern you yeah, that's a pretty. That, that's a good touch. That's a nice touch. And uh, have an army of Krang at your desk. If oh, you want. that's true. That's true. Um, also, they have the four turtles, April and Splinter currently available. Oh, and the shell razor too. Oh, nice. I have not seen the shell really? razor. Uh, they the have shell a razor in, in the water. Yeah, they, it sounds like it's an aquarium uh, centerpiece. That's, I have not seen. That is, it. yeah, that that doesn't quite. Well, yeah. Maybe the, maybe Donnie waterproofed there it. Yeah, there there he made go. it uh, a they submersible needed, they now. Needed, they needed the uh, the submarine, the, yeah. the turtle sub. The turtle they, yeah, sub. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. needed that one. Yeah. Personally, I would have liked a leatherhead. <laughs> oh, oh, naturally, of course, of course. naturally. <laughs> that that would actually make sense too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so what else is going on? You, you were just out in California. I was out in California for Comic Con, and then just an inma- just an assortment of turtle events out there, just one after another. I unfortunately couldn't stay there long enough to go to like a advanced screening of the movie, yeah. and I have yet to watch it. But I think we are going to watch it tonight, tonight. Dakota and I, and. If she was available, Michelle Ivy. Yeah, Michelle's here. Yeah, she, with she, Cowbunga Corner. Yep, uh, she is. Uh, uh, she's out at the pool still, so we're hoping she's on her way here at some point. Yeah, so we hope so. Hope, yes. Hopefully, she can get here before I gotta take off. I gotta take off here in like twelve minutes. So. Oh boy. <laughs> the clock's running. Let's talk. Come on. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, so you haven't seen the movie yet. You're seeing it tonight. You've seen it. I have not seen it. You have not seen it either. Yeah, we're both. Uh, wow. New. Uh, Noobs, virgins, whatever you're gonna say. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're gonna experience it tonight. Uh, I guess we're going to the AMC in downtown Disney. That's, that's, that's the that's, good, that's the good one are to you, go to. Are you doing the, the uh, dinner one or are you just doing the normal one? Uh, I told them about the dinner one. We haven't made our mind up okay. yet. Okay. Probably. I think not. we should go the full. The, the dinner full, one's pretty solid. Um, the full throttle, full so bore one. Really? Pardon me? The real D? Yeah, yeah, real, yeah, 3D. Do, do 3D, uh, 3D with the... Uh, yeah. You've seen it. Yeah. How many times once? Just once. I was supposed to see it twice. In 3D? Yes, in 3D. Is it, um, is it, is it, uh, does it feel like it's 3D filmed with 3D uh, 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 in mind? Or is it one of those like, hey, post. we can... 
throw the 3D into this because it's you know all what? CG. When it first started, I could, I right away, I was like, oh, this 3D, yeah, that's right, I got the glasses on. You can tell right away. But, like, after that first initial, like, oh, yeah, this is 3D, like, it just... It doesn't add to the movie. I don't either. think so. They don't, and, you know, a lot of movies tend to use story? those, like, yeah. 3D. Right, you know, like right. <laughs> forced, just, forced 3D effects, yeah, and exactly. they kind of, they, yeah. yeah. So, and I, I don't think they really took advantage of any of those, or maybe that's not the right word. Just kind of abused right. the system a little bit. <laughs> Shout out to Monsters vs. Aliens, yeah. <laughs> Paddle Ball. Yeah, Paddle I mean, ball. I, I, I almost get the feeling now if, if a movie does that, like they're doing it, like. Yeah. They're in on the joke. Like, we're just going to do this just because. Yeah, it's become a mainstream fad. Yeah, yeah, If yeah, that's yeah, an yeah. oxymoron yeah, of words. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it, it didn't really, I don't know if it really added anything just even superfluous to the... But it didn't take movie. away anything, right? I didn't take away anything. Okay, so it's yeah. worth seeing it in 3D, in other sure. words. Sure, yeah, yeah. It, it, it didn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It didn't hurt. So. One thing that I, I find pretty cool is that unlike most real-D movies nowadays, uh, there, there have been efforts to try and beam the glasses. Um, yeah, so yeah. My, uh, one of my co-hosts, uh, he got per- he got purple glasses, and it, actually the screening he went to was Thursday night, and they didn't have they didn't give him any, mm-hmm. and so when he left, like he left the movie theater and gave away his, his black ones, and he went up to the counter and he's like, hey. Where's my damn glasses? <laughs> and they're like, oh, what are you talking about? He's like, I know you got those special limited edition glasses yeah. here, don't you? And they're like, yeah, we have them. Um, and so they like reach in the box under the, you know, they're hoarding them all for eBay. Let, for come on. sure. I've seen two variants. I've seen. I bet, um, maybe that's what the deal with the shirts. Yeah, maybe. I've seen yeah. the uh, the ones that were at the premiere, which are like plastic uh, bandanas. Yeah. Yeah. Those seen, are cool. Yeah, I've also seen the ones that are colored and have a sticker that goes on. I think yeah. I think that's the one he's at. They just look like like normal like yeah. like purple shades, right? Yeah. Now. And uh, it's like a that's what the Lego. Oh, you, it is. you just remind me of something. I get like regal, for Regal uh, Cinemas, they're doing dog tags, probably as well as glasses. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, AM, AMC's doing something too. They were giving away something. Uh, same idea, you know, um, right uh, while supplies last. Kind I of believe thing. it was uh, it, it, for stub members or something. They had yes. bandana hats. Yes, that's what it was. Ah, yeah. uh, all those stubs. You gotta, you gotta get in the stubs. Uh, yeah. um, I guess if you're a big movie goer, it's worth it. Yeah, 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 definitely. I, I mean, I switch between. So you know, like here in Orlando, you got all the ones over here. Yeah. Not in Disney. I, I drive. I live over on the east side of town, so I go over by UCF over there, which is Regal. But here's AMC, so I kind of go bounce between the two of them. And I, you know, I work at Universal. I sometimes go to the Universal. Yeah, Peter yeah, Rehab. right. Yeah, we just did a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, there. Ah, nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody get dressed up and everything um, like they usually do it, at these it's things. It's different. They do like a, an actual like show. Like, is this like theater oh. group that does like and they're all dressed up and they do like a, they redo the whole show, the whole movie while it's playing That's behind hilarious. them. That's hilarious. Not for the uh, fade apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that'd make a sailor you know blush. Yeah. We <laughs> um. Uh, over at the California park, they actually, uh, Terminator is closed over there, but um, when Terminator was open, they actually used the Terminator theater for that. Really? And there's video of it on YouTube, it's hilarious. The, the Cyberdyne Auditorium has a red carpet and the actors oh, are there and wow. they take advantage of the special effects. Oh, it's, wow, oh, wow, it's really? You said it's on YouTube? You can find it on YouTube. Oh. Make sure it's the California version. Oh, okay. Right. Here in Florida, we use the Beetlejuice stage. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now, so that's now that's that's for in the park. Yes. Yeah, that's in. The park. Yeah, and and they do some for. Uh, we're we're going on a total tangent here. No kidding. Yeah, they, do, <laughs> they do some for Halloween Horror Nights too. Don't they? They, they they do something for. Or I'm thinking, or my thing is something else. What what is the, the special thing they do for Halloween? They do uh, Fear Factor stage gets Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. And uh, Beetlejuice gets Rocky Horror. Usually. Yeah, that, there's Rocky Horror. Yeah. 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 So we'll come on back to Turtles now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so Sorry, listening guys. to the Rocky Horror podcast. Yeah, yeah, we took a little stroll, but we're we're coming back. We're back. Um, but uh, so so you stay in the night. At, no, I am not, not staying, staying the, the night. night. You're gonna uh, watch the movie. We're yeah, we're just hanging out for the day with yeah. uh, Michelle and and uh, Michelle's staying. I'm, yes, she's staying the night. And you're local. You're here in Orlando. Yeah. And you're in Tampa. I'm in Tampa. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, actually just in Tampa. Going back there in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Um, so, gosh, I want to I want to talk to you guys about the movie. Gotcha. <laughs> well, we can if you want. No, I mean, no, no, no. We no, can no, reconvene. No, no, yeah. Well, yeah. So we'll have we'll have to do that. Okay. I want to I want to hear you as some more hardcore turtle fan. Sure. I want to hear your. It's not like we're that far away. That's so true. That's just, true. You know, we'll, we'll have to do this. Sure. I, think, I think we're going to be covering this for a while because yeah, we want to get everybody's like. Well, from the, we the, didn't really ask your or... your reaction. I mean, I you know, uh, we kind of got on a tangent there too. So, pause. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. I, I will say neutral. To, as to not as to not ruin anything for you guys. I will say that it is. Uh, what I pretty close to what I expected, um, and definitely go into it without any that, expectations. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. Not, not, maybe not, that's not the right word, but uh, think of it that this movie is themed for kids. Yeah, no, this is definitely. a kid, this is a kids movie. Okay, so yeah. if you think about it from that aspect, because we we already did a full spoiler cast, you know, like that night Thursday night after me and all my co's, you know, we, we watched it. We went while it was fresh, we went home and talked all about it. Yeah. All of our pros, all of our cons. And then like then at, at one point we were like, with all the cons that we had, we were like, it doesn't matter. Because this is a movie for kids. Yeah. yeah. And I don't care. I, I, I think Michael Bay even said it's not for kids. No, this is a movie for kids. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. It's action. It looked to me everything I've seen and, and my expectation going in is basically a summer action popcorn flick. Yep. We, geared Michael towards Bay. kids, but obviously they they, they, they have uh, tried to make it adult friendly too because the, the, the parents are going to have to bring the kids to this thing. Okay. They can't just sit there yes. and, and, no, and be turned and, off about it. They're not going to go. Okay, so with res- with respect to that, I want that's what I want to hear from you. That's yeah. what I want to hear. Your reaction, because yeah. you're an adult. You're an adult. Yeah. I'm an adult. Yes. Or, I mean, my, my co hosts are adults. I've been telling everybody, you know, the run up to this, I just hope. I still, and I think they, they've accomplished it, I've always just hoped that the movie doesn't kill the franchise. Like, it doesn't turn I, off no, the kids. But it looks like so. this thing is totally Listen. very, you know, there's a lot of kids excited about it. And I think that's the most important thing. The old guard fans, yeah. to be honest, they don't care about us. <laughs> no, and, and this, this, I mean, we know the Turtles multiverse, right? There's yeah. all these different versions. This is a new version of Turtles. You're right. And as long as you think about it like that, yeah, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Like, Nick Turtles was a new version of Turtles. This movie is a new version of Turtles. Right. And it, it's 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 intended for a different audience. I'll tell you, my theater was filled with family, and those kids love this movie. Good. I mean, Great. That's good to hear. And I always use the you know the the saying that kids love Jar Jar. Yeah. Kids love Jar Jar. They do. That, they, they do. They absolutely do. And, and kids love this movie. So, yeah, see, see, yeah, we're, we're coming in from the wrong side. You know, those those focus groups know what they're doing. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I mean, the other thing I joke too is that, um, you know, obviously this this the, the creation of this film has gone through one of the most tumultuous development cycles of any movie ever. Ever. <laughs> I mean, and, and that's not a joke. No, that's it's, legit. Yeah. With yeah. all of the press, the, the negative press that this movie has gone through, and the changes that it's yeah. gone through, the late I, I think people did. where we get to now. Yeah. I mean, we've actually, we didn't get a trailer. We got For a trailer like, much uh, later than a Much later movie. than the typical yeah. movie, right? Yeah, there must have been a lot of they dumped all internal... They in right at the end. Yeah, yeah there because, must have been a lot of internal discussion oh, yeah. before they go, well, I guess we're gonna, we should go this direction. But I think that speaks to... People didn't realize how important or ingrained turtles are to 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 everybody growing up. I guess the last generation, or even maybe two generations yeah. since. Yeah. Um, you know, we're right, the turtle fandom is right up there with to the you know what this has shown me sure. that the turtle fandom is ju- is right up there with like the level of. Star Trek people, Star Wars people, Batman, Superman, you know, any one of the the established superheroes. Yeah. Well, you know what? Turtles are they're right there. Right up there, you know, Absolutely. and I guess it's just because they, they haven't been around long enough, but it, 
it, it, hey, it's years. amazing how 30 years yeah they they they've just been on a fast track to Absolutely. to to, uh, you know, I would say they're right up there with Mickey Mouse now. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> Mario. Absolutely. I actually, you know, I only got into Turtles uh, 2012, actually. Wow. There and, you go. You know, honestly, uh, it, it does, the franchise, it really, it really does serenade with people, even if you grew up with it, even if you didn't. Uh, it's just, there's something in it for everybody. Uh, me in particular, uh, the Nickelodeon series. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Really, yeah. yeah. No, oh, no, no. The Nickelodeon series is doing a phenomenal job. I was at the panel for it at Comic Con. Yeah. And the one thing I noticed, I, you know, I, I, this year was my very first year going to Comic Con. Oh, was it? Yes. Wow. And uh, so, you know, I was going in and really newbie here. Yeah. And what I noticed in some panels, some of the actors, actresses, I don't know if it was just they're tired you know they're having a hard day or whatever but a lot of you know in some panels a lot of the actors actresses looked a little uninterested you know they're sitting back they're not they're not engaged yeah. Yeah. however the Nickelodeon panel oh, every single person in there they, actor actress producer yeah. zero blah 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 they you can tell that every single one of them loves yeah. what they're doing and they want the Nickelodeon series. And I'm pretty game. sure the only guy on that cast yeah. that wasn't in that boat is no longer part of that cast. Correct. I bet. Although... That, I don't think that had anything to do with no, it. No, I don't think that had anything to do but, with it. Hey. I think it's just his... Yeah. His, <laughs> his... Yeah, just, you know, just his personal side. Yeah. It, you know, it just conflicted with the family side. Yeah. I really gotta say, if you ever if you ever talk to Brandon Allman or Sierra Nelly or any of the Turtle crew for that matter, you can really tell just how much this show means to them. Oh yeah, they put Zero their is heart crazy. In this you can I mean, you talk about Turtle fans. Yeah. They're they're Zero's really connected with the fans. Right up there. Yeah, you can see it in their work. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it, yeah. They live and yeah. breathe this show. Yeah. Uh, going into it, I, I think everybody was a little hesitant. You know, you're you're, you're messing with our, our our stuff. You know, like yeah. Yeah, who are you? Who, why are you messing well, with Well, I wasn't stuff? so much afraid but, about Nickelodeon. I mean, I, I, I because I yeah, saw no, pre, any, yeah, any version, right? Any version, yeah. I mean, I, I'll be honest. This, 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 this version with, uh, 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 with, with Paramount and, yeah. and, and everything. You know, when I first heard it, it really scared me, yeah. uh, especially when they said, you know, Michael Bay is producing, yeah. because you just don't never know. But I did feel comforted. When I heard Livesman, and you know everybody forgets that it's Jonathan Livesman's the director. It's not a Michael Bay. Yeah. It's not Michael Bay. It's technically. Not, it's not as Michael Bayish. Michael Bayish as I was afraid. Yeah. It was going to be. No, so. but Livesman, he's a, you know I love I loved his movie, the previous one that I got exposed to him as a director, that Battle Los Angeles. I know it didn't do too well. Yeah box office but it was you know very well shot and I loved the yeah. the pacing and the plot and I you know so that's why I think uh, yeah. I'm not too worried about this movie yeah now. no it, it yeah you don't have to be it, like I was worried going into it I yeah. was I, my fingernails were just gone I just bit off all of my yeah I'm actually losing one of my fingers I actually <laughs> bit off okay. so no I it, yeah it's as long as you go into a thing and like with that understanding that this is a new version of Turtles, this is for a different audience, yeah. a new generation, you'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. It, it, it's, uh, and we've got so many other versions. We have, I mean, the IDW series. Yes. yes. We have the Nick Turtles, you know, like there are, there's so much video games and collecting. Like, right. There's, there's plenty of Turtles too, to yeah, go around. In fact, there's so, too much. Yeah. <laughs> it can be. It absolutely can be too much at times. Oh my God. The, the, this past month leading up to this has been insane. Uh, it really has. You know, between and Comic Con and, and the movie release and, uh, and the, the, the season, TV show. Yeah. yeah, the rest of season two. Yeah. This big yeah. finale yeah. that's and coming up. I know. It's massive. Yeah. And well, since I was out in California, there was dedicated art gallery, like pop up yeah, art galleries. I, we went to both of them. Did you? Oh, man. We missed the third one. There was, oh. like, all of a sudden there's a third one. But, yes, uh, me, Michelle Ivy, yeah. her sister, and, you know, Toka, right? Yeah, yeah. He another another big uh, oh, TMT uh, online personality. Uh, 
we went we all four of us went to uh, the, the 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 official one that's associated with Nickelodeon, the yeah. Gallery Nexus. Yes. And then there's another one called Eight Bit Gallery, which was really cool. We found out about a third one, but we didn't get there in time. It was like downtown LA. I think it was I can't remember what the I think it was like the Hives Gallery, H I V E S. Uh, ES and because the reason we didn't get to that is because that same night naturally we're somewhere eating pizza <laughs> of course all right and, as you do and, as you do on a normal uh, uh, what was that Sunday night and uh, or was it Saturday I don't know anymore but anyways <laughs> so we're sitting there all of a sudden Michelle's sister gets some message text or whatever Get over to Golden Apple Comics right now because they're doing a total event where you can meet Jonathan Livesman wow. and two of the producers, uh, uh, Adam and I can't remember yeah, I, Adam I and Brandon. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and also, they're going to be giving away uh, screen and uh, uh, red carpet tickets. Oh, I didn't win, but guess who did? Guess who did? Guess who did? Oh, Michelle went to the red carpet yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, I got to do a selfie with Livesman and selfie or take a picture with the two producer guys. They gave us a really cool poster too. It's a two-sided, basically the, the movie, the poster you would see in the theater. But apparently it's two-sided. You see the front side of them and then the back side of them and they signed it oh, and everything. Signed. Yeah, yeah. He's just, just showing off at this point, isn't he? He's I just, am. He's just showing I off. I am showing <laughs> off. You damn right I am. <laughs> I would too. I would too. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, I, I've got to get going, but uh, thank you so much for coming on. Do uh, you want to let people know where they can find you online? or on, on, Oh, on just follow or? just follow Cowabunga Corner and, and my good friend Toka uh, Oroku. They, I'm, you know, great, great if you house. if you follow those two people, you'll invariably yeah, find me in the background. Yeah, <laughs> I'm 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 like attached to the hip with these two people apparently <laughs> these days. Um, but that's not a bad thing if you're a little fan. A bad thing. Um, you guys want to follow me on Twitter? Uh, it's at Mutanimals. At Mutanimals, which I, I, yep. I, I Archie, out, yeah, Archie, Archie, call yes, out. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. Or if you, uh, Instagram, TMNT Leatherhead. TMNT, yeah, big Leatherhead fan here. Definitely. He's even got the hat. It's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and he updated it because uh, there's some. Yeah, that's you right. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. We're not going to. Should we give it away? No? No? Um, no? Well, if you've seen the trailer, then you know. Okay. Yes. There you yeah. go. But, um, That's true. Big things coming for Leatherhead. Yeah. Absolutely. Big yeah. things. Right, big guys. things for the whole show, honestly. Oh, no. It, it, yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again to Mark and Dakota for sitting with me to talk turtles for a few minutes. I think we're going to try to get them on the show again in the future. Uh, to uh, to talk to her. It's, it's a great resource to have here in, in uh, Central Florida to not take advantage of. So thanks again to, to those two guys. Speaking of thanks, a huge thanks to everyone from the Nickelodeon Suites Resort for organizing this awesome event, bringing the record down to Orlando, and of course for including us in the, uh, in the event as well. Uh, we really appreciate it and totally look forward to working with them again in the future. Please check the show notes for links to photos from the event, including our own photo album, as well as a few photos from Twitter. Check us out on our official website, turtlepowerpodcast.com. Follow us on Twitter, at TMNT Podcast. You can follow myself, at Fig Don Pat. You can follow Alex, at A Rodriguez 2005 and you can follow Darby at Darby T. Patton. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash turtlepowerpodcast. Subscribe on YouTube, youtube.com slash turtlepowerpodcast. Share your feedback with us via old-fashioned email, turtlepowerpodcast at gmail.com. And of course, please, please, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes. We're going to close out the show, of course, with our song of the show. Once again, tapping the amazing resource that is shellshocked.ocremix.org. This is going to be track number five, Fresh from the Sewers, arranged by Monobrow. <laughs> and the source is Sewer Surfing, stage three background music. 
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on another episode of the Turtle Power Podcast. We'll talk to you next time.